Okay. Alright, that should be working now. Gosh, that was embarrassing. So, for whatever reason, I got it in my head to try to mess with my audio drivers, and I probably did more than I should have. Oops. Might have uh, temporarily removed the whole microphone thing. Uh, but it's back now, as you can probably hear. I'm going to turn things down a little bit. Just a skosh. There we go. Alright, so, uh, you know what? Let's get back to... Final Fantasy V. Let's get back to the Fiesta. So, things got off to a pretty okay start, I think. Um... Yeah. Now we gotta go talk to, uh... The king here. Cause they've got, uh... Oh, wait a second. You know what? I wonder if I should... Go for some of these treasures. that there are some pretty sweet treasures you can get here. Uh, I'm thinking of, like, the Elven Cape, which gives you bonus evasion, which, I mean, who wouldn't want that? But it might be a little difficult to get there? I don't know. I could be just misremembering where it is. But I seem to recall that uh, if you go through the basement, you'll encounter an enemy that's really, really tough, and all you want to do is run away from it. And I don't think I feel like running away. Because on my counter there, uh, let me just make sure it's perfectly visible on the stream. Yeah, so at the bottom of my counters there, there's that, uh, BB-150 and CK-1. So, uh, there are some... a pair of special weapons that you can get later in the game. Uh, called the Brave Bait... Brave Blade. And the chicken knife. Uh, the brave blade gets weaker every time you run away from battle, and the chicken knife gets stronger. So, since, uh, let's see, the brave blade is a sword, so as such, I would prefer to try to keep it as strong as possible, since I can use swords. So, I don't know. I guess I'll just leave the basement well enough alone.
And now suddenly there's danger, so... We're just gonna transition out of the room and get rid of the urgent music. Simple as that. I'm trying to remember if there's any other way to get loot in this place. Because... That would be really good to have. Library of the Ancients. If my recollection is right, we'll be going there today, probably. Storehouse. Phoenix down for free, and a tent, I'll take those. 490 gil, can't say no to free money. Alright, I feel like there should be stuff in the waterways here, maybe? I know there's something hidden here. I might be able to get a good prize if I get an encounter here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, I didn't realize I wasn't at uh, full health. That might change things. It's those ice soldiers I'm after. God was a potion out of it. Uh, maybe I won't uh, stick around too long around here. It's entirely possible I might have to steal from the Ice Soldiers to get their prize. And, well, that's not going to happen, so... We'll just keep looking around here. Waterfall. Oh well. I might be thinking of another location anyway. Oh well. Alright. Oops, that's right. I want to go back to the second floor. Because that's where you put your entrances on the second floor, right? with the music there, but okay. Maybe taking a nap will fix it. There we go. And I know I took a look at the equipment available here last time, but now that I have a bit more money, maybe it's worth Taking one last peek. Alright, you know what I'll do? What I'll do is I'll just... Chuck, uh, charge forward with what I've got. And we'll see what happens. Let's check the meteorite. Uh, nothing happened. Okay. So I guess we're going to the tower. Uh, it's Gorilla. Wait a second. Wait a second. 
Oh, shit. I did the thing that I said I didn't want to do. Oops. Oh, well. I don't want to beat up Gorilla. Gorilla's a friend. Sure would be useful. Just saying. Oh no, it's a back attack. Climb up the vines and get access. Oh, You're supposed to climb up the vines to get access to Silk Road, which is completely worthless to me right now. Oops. Or is it? Hmm. Maiden's kiss. Jeez. One step in front of the safe. Well, let's go. I feel better. Let's see here. A couple of wyverns. No big 
field. I for one appreciate the strength of the knights. see what's in those treasure chests first. Silver armlet. Shiny um... reflector. Used by anyone except the knight, of course. Properties I don't remember. Possibly. All right, here we are at the water crystal. to the death counter, I think. Oh no. Ah. I think I'm about to get bodied. That's a game over. Alright, well, you know what? That happens. You know what? We'll just try again. We'll give it one more shot, and if it's still not good enough, then I will just leave and get some new armor, and then we'll try again. Simple as that, right? that loot though just in case you know just in case I do survive kind of 
supposed to go to the right one after all. Oh well. Alright, second verse, same as the first. Was that? that was an extra four, and how many did I take? I was at, I want to say seven? That sounds right. We'll just say that's right. Okay, so, lesson learned. We're going to go back to town and get some stuff. Let's try this again, shall we? Okay. So this time we're running away. Bravely fight another day. Okay. So I imagine the biggest upgrade is going to be from Iron Armor, so let's start by buying a set for everyone. defense. four points of defense at this level will go a long way. Alright. 
we'll save outside the tower this time. Alright, let's see what we can do now. Oh, look at that reduced damage. That's so much better. feeling it. Breath. I mean, who lets the river use breath thing? That's so rude. For a random encounter? Pretty sure Breathwing does 25% uh, of your max HP. Just straight up. Damage numbers are higher. Uh, I'm taking less damage. I mean, this the extra couple levels apparently goes a long way. And I'd forgotten that. Not to mention the added improved armor. got to hang on this a handle on it see got a high potion for my troubles all right there we did it we saved the crystal hurrah uh, we saved the crystal 
crystal. these shards here. Got the Spirit of Berserker, Red Mage, Summoner, Mystic Knight, and Time Mage. Uh-oh. Tower is sinking. And hey, there's that one last crystal. Luckily, there's that convenient door at the top floor that lets us escape instantly. It's Sildra! Ray Sildra! Sildra, no. Sildra, why? Alright, uh, well, now that we've unlocked a new set of jobs, let us find out in real time what my next job is, shall we? Let me just load up Twitter, and let's see, I believe I just have to tweet the hashtag water at Gilgabot, and... from Gilgabot. And my new water job is Red Mage. To stock up on those golden noodles. I'm not sure if I like the sound of that. But hey, look at that. We can use Red Mage. Uh, who am I going to use as my Red Mage? Alright, so I was kind of hoping for Red Mage, honestly. Um, I would have been happy with, uh, where is it? The 
order of these jobs isn't consistent. Mystic Knight would have been fun, I think. Because I, I do have a, a special fondness for elemental weapon casting, but uh, well, we've got the Red Mage now. Alright, so let's make one our Red Mage for the time being. Got no equipment she can use. Alright. So let's go back to Waltz and see if uh, see what I can get for all my troubles now. You know, like maybe some armor that Lena can actually wear now. Like the Kenpo gi. A second. No, she can't wear any hats. That's the problem. Um, Alright, what's the difference between the two? So, uh, that's actually not worth it at all. Um, well, I will never need more than three iron armors. Uh, Mithril Helm needs to go on somewhere. We've got our best stamina. The worst of that uh, Ferris can have the Mithril Helm. Speaking of stamina, look at those numbers 46, 48, 19. Ouch. Uh, that's going to be interesting. The other thing I have to check now is, since I have spells now, what can I buy? Nothing of worth here. I might have to go back to that, uh, one of the starting towns, or the other towns. Let's see, where they get? Yeah, up there is one. Right here is one. Carwin, what kind of magic have you got for me? actually use level 2 magics, unless it's just because, well, no, no. Oh, there's a way to, uh, whatever. whatever, it's fine. Maybe there's some armor here I can get for the... I'm wishing I'd remembered to pick up that armlet. got something for me. Maybe the king will... Just in his quarters. Okay, well that's probably over here. Alright, so we gotta go to Karnak now.
Oh yeah, return, return to Tycoon. Let's do that, just in case. There might be something in it for me. Hmm. surrounded by forest. That meteor had blocked it off, but now we can fly right over it. What? Ooh, actually this is going to be great. Great for me. Just, uh, waltz right on in. Get this uh, optional little cutscene in the meantime. And surprise, there's the reveal. Lena and Ferris are actually sisters. Could have ever seen that coming. Picking on him. Alright, uh, well, that's not the only thing here. High potion, nice. Uh, so, I guess we want to find the chainsaw again. That's actually going to be relevant. I like it. Alright, so we don't need to go all the way up here. to loot the castle. Great. That's an inconspicuous, a highly conspicuous switch on the power. Alright. Long bell. 
shuriken. Natural. Did he actually give me the staff that I'm after? He did, alright. So, this is... This is quite the boon, I would say. Thanks to the Red Mage, uh, I can now use the Healing Staff. And the Healing Staff, uh, what it does is you attack something with it, and then it gets healed. It gets healed for kind of a lot. Um, honestly, I don't use Red Mage all that much. So I don't know how much weaker it's going to be, but... You know, if I did it with the White Mage, it would be like 400 HP worth of healing, as I recall. Maybe like two or three hundred. But you know, somewhere in that ballpark, that's pretty significant. Uh, oh my god, you know what I just realized? I forgot to actually put that on the screen. But, uh, job is Red Mage. There we go. How about that? once I'm in the general area. Uh, I want to go south. Here. North here. Okay, that's the wind shrine. That's not it. Graveyard, that's not it. Is there an outlet near Tycoon that I missed? Shores, like, well, not shores, but a break in the mountain range. are and there's a panel right there so of course we're just gonna walk right into it without a second thought starting to clear up. A little less fog in the noggin. Here we are. 
Mirror's Town's kind of a height. That's fine. it was my first action of the battle. Oh no, our first instance of the old status effect. God, I hate it so much. Old is a status effect that uh, gradually drains your stats. They just get weaker over time. And as far as I know, there's no way to really counteract it. I guess you could think of it as like steadily leveling down. Like, even when the status effect wears off, the, uh, the effect is, you know, permanent. Look at Gal- oh, shit. No! And you can see how Gallop is doing, uh, is doing, like, half his- half the damage of everyone else. And even less now. And only one job point for that. Let me live. I think so. Let's see, he's still using the leather shield, and so is Ferris. So I'm going to take advantage of it while I have the opportunity. So, yeah, you just uh, sacrifice your shield slot for the ability to use your weapon in both hands. You can still equip the shield if you want, but then, you know, might as well put another support ability in there. So I think what I will do... Let's play around with this a little. Let's have both Ferris and Bart's, you know, two-hand with a sword. And Gallif can be our uh, main defender. Pub means a uh, chance for a new piano. There it is. Gonna check the barrels for any prizes. Piano time. Alright, was that better than last time? That was probably better than last time. Yeah. Can't get there yet. 
Boy went popped out of the meteorites. Old guy got caught by the guards. Professor Sid? I've never heard of no Sid. What do you think this is? Some kind of Final Fantasy game? So, high quality equipment at rock bottom prices. So, uh, I think, obviously, we've got to check that out, right? I mean, right? Sometimes those treasure chests behind the counter are, are not fake. You can actually pick them up. Uh, so let's see here. I mean, gosh, look at that. You can get rods. Full power from back row. Well, let's get some... Oh. Speaking of full power from back row, I should put one in the back row. So yeah, the game baits you into trying to buy some really good, really cheap equipment. And then, uh, surprise, you're in jail now, Buster. jail uh, and managed to keep his explosives I feel like the guards here are not super confident or super competent technology proves to be the ill of society. Powered ship. Uh, this may or may not be a thing. I don't rightly remember. Oh, you see all these treasure chests that happen to be blocked by fire? Hmm, 
wonder how that's going to come into play. should be allowed to actually buy stuff. Alright, well, I'm sure that won't be relevant later. Yeah, so that happens. I did have a nice sword? God damn it. What did I put that on? Uh, let's see, look at that huge increase. That's definitely what's going on. Oh, Completely move on. Uh, finally, a hat. See, I'm doing a thing. Oh, am I quiet? Alright, I can turn that up. Uh, Alright, how is that? It says that was about a decibel. That should be fine, right? Oh, okay, that's better. Alright, I know I'm definitely going to want that Bizarro soon, so maybe I'll just do a little money grinding outside of town here. Oh, especially... I'm going to want all these too. Uh, yeah, I am playing the GBA version, um, but I'm playing uh, with a hack that fixes, well, quote-unquote, fixes the, uh, all the music. I think the sound effects are still a bit off, but what can you do, right? Because uh, believe me, the actual GBA version uh, 
sounds significantly different. So let's, oops, let's, let's make some money, shall we? Thunder on all these dogs. Sorry, dogs. Wait! Yeah, it, it's true. It's, it's not... It's not great. Mithril Swords is really doing a number on these enemies. I like it. How much skill did I get from that? Kind of a lot. Okay. Alright, let's... Let's see how they feel about Blizzard. My guess is it's going to be very much the same. Still quiet? Um, right. I mean... Okay, how about now? Is that any better? Oh shit, that's right, I've still got like an active thing going on. Uh, I did have a bit of a problem at uh, Garua. The boss of the water tower. Uh, I took a few. I took a couple of game overs. Uh, then I decided to leave and just upgrade my equipment, and uh, that fight went uh, a lot better that time. Alright. Okay, well, I'm glad it's better. But yeah, now I have the Red Mage, which means I have access to the healing staff and the magic, even though uh, Lemma's magic seems to be bad. I think the word is bad. Let's see how a single target blizzard does. I imagine it's going to still be bad. 25 damage. That's... that's worthless. At that point, I really am better off just using uh, the healing staff to attack and heal with it. It's a lot more money. Uh, I should check though. Does that improve her magic? It technically does not. That's cool. I'm going to be making that mistake a lot, as long as uh, Lena gets the first move. That's fine. So how is everyone doing today? I'm glad you all can make it. Got a nice level out of that. All right, let's let's go. Let's see. Here. So cool. All right, well, yeah. Always look on the bright side. Uh, silver plate. This defense is low, and I'm not happy about that, but I wonder if there's anything that can be done. Uh, let's see, Mithril Glove. I'll get that for Gallif. Uh, a couple of Helms. Uh, 
Okay. I'm trying to remember if, uh, if I want to get the uh, silver plate or not. Definitely want to give that to Ferris. Get that, get that big jump in attack power. It's like a, it's better than a 33% increase. No, more like a 40% increase if my math is correct, but I still want money for spells, so we're just gonna have to deal with this a little longer. I hope you all don't mind. status effect again. What a garbage status effect. I think we can all agree. Oh. God damn it, Zoo. Target Blizzard will do now. Still 25. Did Lena just not get any magic out of that level? I guess not. Uh, how's my job progression? <laughs> not that stellar. Um... to be able to just skip the uh, the farming here, but I think it is kind of technically part of the experience. Um, I should be able to get a couple of spells out of that, though, right? Like, what do we have here? Raise is going to be valuable, I'm sure, sooner or later. Um, I don't really need a Libra, I don't think. Double check attack magic. Lazar is the big one that I want for right now, even though I'm pretty sure I can't use it yet. But, I mean, we're going to the fireplace. The fire dungeon, so... Uh, you know... Better to be prepared and all that. Uh, Where's my stats? Everything looks fine. Uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so 
let's save. Let's try to tackle this dungeon and see how far we can get. Obviously we're going to go. Appreciate it. Mithril glove. Uh, I guess I can slap that on someone. Bears, congratulations. It's the Defeater. And I... Uh, I'm gonna be... I said it before, and I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna be making that mistake kind of a lot. These things are weak to lightning, aren't they? Yeah, weak enough. Uh, okay. Pretty underwhelming as far as uh, self destruct attacks go. Ooh, these are. As I recall, these are the real bad boys of this dungeon. Yeah, that's true. Self destruct does typically do more damage uh, when you have more health. Wait, I do have access to Blizzard? Yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, you know what? I, I was confusing... Uh, I was confusing my job-based RPGs. I forgot that when you're actually in the job itself, you get uh, full access to all of the mage's spells, like all levels of the magic. And it's just that you have to level up that job to uh, transfer levels of magic over. That's that's what I forgot. I was thinking of a uh, bravely default system where you have to level it up to be able to use more advanced spells. Silly me. You know what? That was a more powerful self-destruct. Uh, maybe in this game it's not quite not quite the case that the more HP the enemy has, uh, the more damage it will do. Uh, wow. Okay. Get out of here. Turn getting everyone back where they belong. Jesus, leave Lena alone. Uh, position to heal thyself. If 
and I can't remember. Is Crew Dust the enemy that likes to just blind your party? Or is it a similar enemy? Or, I mean, someone else in this dungeon, at least. Jesus. Calm down. Alright, red level one. Cool, so that means she can cast the uh, white and black spells that are level one. You know, your cure, your uh, fire, blizzard, thunder. gimmick with defeaters when you when they're the last one you kill in a battle that summons these motor traps the way forward? Yes. I have a tendency to get lost in this dungeon just because there are so many pathways you can take. Take out the defeater first, what happens? Yeah, just as I thought. The defeater summons motor traps if it's the last enemy killed. Okay, cool. I learned something. Uh, now we've got uh, some ventilation shafts. Cool, cool. Everyone say hello to Blizzara. And the poltergeist gets healed by Blizzara. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I guess while well, I'm looking for things to talk about, uh, if, if you've been following me on Twitter, might have noticed that occasionally I've been tweeting about uh, Octopath Traveler, which happens to be another game that features uh, a job system, but it's uh, a little different. And I kind of respect the ways that it's different. Uh, it took me a little while to warm up to it, but now that I have, uh, I'm pretty into it. So like other job-based games, uh, you know, from battles you get uh, job points, uh, but the difference is that job points are a currency, so you can spend them to, uh, you know, to learn more skills. Uh, but the way it works is, uh, you know, 
at the start, everyone's got two skills, and then they can choose five more. And then each skill, you can pick whichever skill you want out of the five, and it's always going to cost the same. Uh, and then that way the skills get uh, progressively more expensive the more you have. Uh, I kind of like that. Let's see, I got a green beret. That is just all around better. Let's do that. Oh, don't sap. Sap is bad. Well, it's not as bad, but it's annoying. So anyway, in Octopath Traveler, that means that you can go for, uh, you know, like the high cost skills at a very early stage. Um, with the trade-off being, of course, that you're also low level, so it's going to use up a, a lot of your, uh, your MP, or, uh, excuse me, your SP, it's skill points in battle. But, you know, it's MP. Remember, each of these leads to a different spot, and I don't remember what any of those spots are. Uh, oops. Alright, so the far right one is bad. Well, that's easy to remember. if I'm not actually the thief, I wonder? Probably not. Just double check here. Yeah, only good for thief. Mm, okay. Alright, um... Is this forward? It seems like it would be for it. I want to just double check and make sure. Wait. Hold on. No, it's not forward at all. That's back. See, this is what I was saying about getting lost in this place. So I guess the way I really want to go is uh, the center left. Yeah, there we go. That's a ticket. And I'm pretty sure those are both paths. Moon Ring Blade, that would be cool if I could use it. I gotta be a thief for that, or maybe another class that could become available later? Maybe? We'll see. I cannot say for 100% uh, certainty uh, what will happen. After all, that's the whole point of the challenge. I don't know what jobs I'm going to get. Alright, so... Use a tense to just heal up Lennon's MP, because that may be relevant in this upcoming battle. And save for good measure.
Alright, cool. Levels up for everyone. I extend that halfway. Let's draw that one. That one. your tricks enemy formation uh, let's see if I go here where does that that take me right back to the beginning of course All right. but what I want to do is that do this that. Oh, okay. Well, Poltergeist, yeah, okay. Poltergeist is technically undead, and that means it uh, takes damage from healing. That's... If I'm gonna make that kind of mistake, where I accidentally heal the enemy just because it's my first command, and this whole time, uh, I've had to use... I've had to open up with attack. Not the worst thing in the world. Okay. I got an elixir, that's good. Alright, we're at the boiler room. Uh I thought maybe there'd be some prizes around here. Oh well. Gonna meet up with the queen, no big deal. Infidels. Hmm. Liquid flame. Liquid flame is real pain in the ass, as I recall. Uh, but I also recall that it is extraordinarily weak to blizzard attacks. Six sixty damages. Uh, um, wait. Okay. Uh. Oh, that's a hot take, uh, but I respect it. You're allowed to have your opinions. I will not try to dissuade you from them. Uh, all right, the flame whirl is, uh, I think it's got extra high evasion. I kind of like uh, a certain elemental theme, perhaps. All the damage I've done is already negated just right away. That's cool. I'll take that. Yeah, that's not going to do anything, pal. Ooh, grabby hands. Uh. I would rather have Bard set some modicum of health. Well, isn't this going to be a thing? Uh, Do. 
Oh, it's out of MP. Okay. Uh... I don't remember if defend works against spells in this game. Probably not. But... Oh, I'm missing this. More used to Final Fantasy IV's boss fight uh, from uh, Mario RPG. Well, that is a good rendition of it. One of these days soon, I'm going to play Mario RPG on stream. Just because it's just a nice game. It's good, it's fun. It's not particularly intensive. Uh, I've referred to it once or twice in the past as kind of a comfort food as far as RPGs go. I gotta add that to the death counter, right? Let me do that real quick before I forget. Uh, yeah, Mario RPG does have some good music on its own right. Yeah, I should really just use these opportunities to, uh, to heal up, shouldn't I? the power of the healing staff. Fire off another Blizzara. There you are. Oh, well, there you go. Got a flame bow out of that. Hmm. Actually, is that a common drop? I don't remember if that's actually a common thing. Like a guaranteed drop. Alright. Uh, here's a fire crystal. Just go through the pipe. Well, it's a fire crystal at the top. There's the, uh... Well, look, we can't save people. Just because we've got three... strapping knights. Hey, there's the werewolf. I wonder what his deal is. There's that whole amnesia kick coming again. Oh no, the random soldier is being controlled by something evil. the switch too all right 
Uh, let's see the Earth Crystal. So the werewolf makes a, a noble sacrifice. I suppose I can't argue with that logic that the queen is probably allowed to take uh, as many partners as she so chooses. One of the perks of being queen, I suppose. Ah, right. Uh, now it's time for this part. Okay, well... That's gonna be interesting. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. It's, it was a load-bearing crystal. Although I suppose an explosion is different from an implosion. Uh, ten minutes. Okay. It's probably silly, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, the timer does not stop for anything. But hey, now I can get all of these treasure chests. 2,000 gil is gonna be good. Thing is, I know there's stuff that's worth getting, and I don't remember. How are you gonna give me a back attack when I open the chest? Honestly. Alright. Bizarre everything. Unfortunately, I do not have Blue Mage available. Uh, Roz, have you heard of the uh, Four Job Fiesta? Ribbon? So just as a quick refresher, the idea is that every time I get to uh, a new crystal and get the jobs from it, I'm allowed to use only one job from that crystal. Uh, and it turns out Blue Mage is from the very first one? Uh, I didn't remember that, so my first class is Knight, and that's all I'm allowed to use. Uh, well, Knight and Red Mage. That was the one I got from the water crystal. Silver plate. Uh, that's fine. Well, that's the way I came up. I'm pretty sure the, you can also... God, that was just a waste of time. I was literally there to waste my time. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, nope, nothing here. But I've never been a fan of blue magic as, you know... As a key piece to any party that I've built in any Final Fantasy. So, I don't really mind not having access to it. What I do mind is all of these dogs kicking my ass. It's true, that is when uh, blue magic does come in handy. I will not deny it. I've just never been fond of it. Okay, oh shit. Missed the stairs. Okay, uh, I want to heal. I 
got no MP. Uh, it's, it's time for an elixir. It's time for an elixir. Why not? I could just leave, but why would I do that when I've got treasure right here? An elixir for my troubles, okay. Alright, Let's go. Oh wait, when is that full health already? Come on. Another elixir. I know there's like a spell or two that you can only get here. It's white magic, so obviously I want it. The other thing I have to keep in mind is that I do know there's a boss battle after this, or at the end of this, and I'm pretty sure that's part of the timer, so, you know. I gotta make sure I get out quick enough for that. It does make me wish I'd remembered to, or I'd thought to get the other uh, second tier elemental spells, because I'm pretty sure... That guy is weak to, uh, lightning? But I still have, like, six minutes left, and it's fine. There is a knife if I keep going one of these ways, I'm pretty sure. I might have gone the wrong way. The main gauche. Gauche. here to uh, pronounce things correctly. Don't do that. Well, either way, it shouldn't take me more than, like, a couple of minutes to deal with the boss, probably. Especially rude to put someone to sleep after, or put them under confusion after they've already been put to sleep. Uh, I want to say like Esma is hiding somewhere in here, and I definitely want that. I mean, why would I ever pass that up? I guess I have to go through this way. Might be towards the throne room or something. Uh, yeah, that's good. Just a couple of attacks. Let's go. Elven mantle. That's what I want. That's the good shit. Alright, now, if I were Esna, where would I hide? I would hide... Uh, somewhere, like... On. Out of my way! Oh, shit. 
No, it's cool though. It's cool. I got this. I got this. Uh, there... I'm pretty sure there's a, a white magic spell. And, you know what? It might be like one of these two. I'm assuming it's Esna, but I don't rightly recall. There it is. Alright, you know what? That's... that's enough. Up uh, these three, and hey, that sergeant took less damage than normal. Oh, wait. Um, oh, I guess I just. I guess I just completely skipped Deathclaw. Just out damaged the hell out of that phase. Crystal Shards, what powers do you grant me? Beastmaster. Geomancer. Ninja. Alright, um... There are two other jobs. But, you know what, now that I have access to at least three of them, it is time to uh, requisition my third job. Alright, so I'm going to tweet at Gilgabot, hashtag fire, and let's see what he spits out at me. In the meantime, I'm going to... buy some spells, because I should have a lot of money now. Yeah. this. Alright, you ready for my fire job? I sure am. Say hello to Ninja. Alright, now we're cooking. Well, let's see, who do I want to make into a ninja? It's a good thing I picked up the main gauche. Uh, yeah, I do have a flea, but... Mm, yeah, that's not the key thing. The main thing is that I'm glad I didn't get Geomancer or Beastmaster, because that would be uh, completely unfamiliar to me, at least... Um, uh, at least with uh, Ninja, I still have an attacker. I can throw, and I'll have elemental scrolls at some point, right? Uh, so let's take a look. Who gets to be ninja? Uh, you know, honestly, it's coincidence, but I feel like uh, Ferris should be a ninja. I swear I'm not trying to do a, a natural run, as they call it. Yeah. Uh, I feel like there's some kind of glitch you could do. Like if you put the moon ring blade, since it's a full power from the back row, you put it into the right hand. I think it applies to the left hand as well. I 
don't recall. Uh, but... We'll take another look here. I can buy high potions yet because I would really like to be able to buy high potions. Still no. Uh, that seems fine. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, let's see. Okay, well... That's fine. This is fine. Alright, Sid, how's it how are things looking? I guess he's a little sad. I suppose his creations did kind of have a hand in uh... Oh, well, that's right, with the castle gone, I can head over to the Library of the Ancients, which is a bit of a trek, but might as well get there. Oh, stop with the old status effect. I hate it. I think, though, once I get into the Library of the Ancients, that's where I will call it for the day. I have to admit, I'm pleasantly surprised by my progress thus far. I don't, I mean, I don't know off the top of my head how long of a game this is, but, you know, I feel like getting all the way through the Fire Crystal in approximately four hours isn't that bad. Probably because I'm not trying to grind jobs that I can't use. That might have something to do with it. Probably should have. Oh, wait. Of course, now that Ferris is no longer using the Mithril Sword, I can give it to Gallop. What was I thinking? How did I forget that? this beach background though. That's pretty nice. Watching the sun shine with you know, sparkle on the water like that. It's not bad. It's a good effect. Got a turtle shell. Will that be relevant? Who knows? Um, probably not. Possibly. I just want to take a look at what the other Earth jobs are. Hmm. Hmm. It's possible. Alright. Uh, yeah, we'll just save right outside, I think. 
And uh, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Um, well, I don't know about y'all, but I certainly had fun. Uh, I'm really getting into this challenge now. As soon as I figure out how to, you know, as soon as I learn dual wielding, oh boy. It's over for these, these bastards. Actually, I can't remember if dual wielding is technically better than two-handing. Oh, more weapons, more fun, as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching today. Um, I don't have my schedule yet for next week. I will probably get that tomorrow. I'll be surely getting that tomorrow, so I'll probably put out a tweet about it, like I usually do. I say we should go uh, pop in on good old friends of the show, Max and Chachi, who are playing a very, very different kind of game. I need a game called East Shade, which seems very pleasant in its own right. So uh, let's uh, type in that command there. Yeah, hopefully I will see you fine folks next time uh, and in the meantime have a nice day have a nice rest of your week and I'll see you when I see you